WKK is Europe's largest importer and distributor of heat shrinkable products. From our offices in the Netherlands, Germany, Italy and Poland, we provide customers throughout Europe with almost all types of heat shrinkable products. From different types of heat shrink tubing, to heat shrink tubing for buspers and heat shrinkable molded parts, our heat shrinkable products are used in many industries, such as the energy sector, cable assembly, automotive industry, electrical engineering, and many more industries. If you are looking for a simple reliable way to protect, repair, or mark cables and cable connections, heat shrinkable products will be your best choice. Due to WKK's wide range of different packing units and types, such as reels, length pieces, mini boxes, and assortments, you can always get the exact quantity of heat shrink tubing that you need. WKK's standard range of heat shrink tubing is made of cross-link polyolefin. The cross-link polyolefin is stretched during production and recovers to its actual size when heated. Stretching and heating changes the wall thickness. The selection of the correct type of heat shrink tubing depends on the application it will be used for, and on the required wall thickness of the heat shrink tube. Our thin wall heat shrink tubing has a wall thickness smaller or equal to 2.41 mm after recovery and is the most flexible heat shrink tubing model. The voltage rating is smaller or equal to 0.6 kV. The different types of thin wall heat shrink tubing differ in shrink ratio, from 1.5 to 1, up to 4 to 1. The operating temperature is between minus 65 degrees Celsius up to plus 260 degrees Celsius. Types with adhesive are available for protection against moisture and water. Also flame retardant, chemical resistant and printable types are available. Our thin wall heat shrink tubing is suitable for the most low voltage applications. The median wall heat shrink tubing that WKK offers has a wall thickness of 1.4 up to 4.2 mm after recovery and is less flexible than thin wall heat shrink tubing. It supports a voltage rating of up to 24 kV. Our different types of median wall heat shrink tubing have an operating temperature between minus 55 degrees Celsius up to plus 110 degrees Celsius and a shrink ratio of 3 to 1. The median wall heat shrink tubing that WKK offers is available with three different types of adhesive technology. Adhesive by co-extrusion technology. Adhesive by master coating and regular adhesive. All adhesive technologies are suitable for protection against moisture and water. In addition to median wall types with adhesive, WKK supplies, of course, also a median wall type without adhesive. Our heavy wall heat shrink tubing has a wall thickness of 1.8 up to 4.7 mm after recovery and is, in contrary to thin wall and medium wall heat shrink tubing, inflexible. Heavy wall heat shrink tubing supports a voltage rating of up to 36 kV. The different types of heavy wall heat shrink tubing are available in a shrink ratio of 3 to 1 up to 6 to 1. Most types are offered with adhesive, but we also offer a type without adhesive. Did you know that WKK can also provide you with heat shrink tubing for buspers? This heat shrink tubing model is available in two different wall thicknesses, 2.5 up to 2.9 mm, for a voltage rating of up to 24 kV and 4.0 up to 4.1 mm, for a voltage rating of up to 36 kV. Heat shrink tubing for buspers is only available in a shrink ratio of 2.5 to 1 and requires a minimum full recovery temperature of plus 120 degrees Celsius. Of course WKK does not only offer different heat shrink tubing models, but we also offer heat shrinkable molded parts as well. Heat shrinkable cable and caps with spiral adhesive coating to protect cable ends. Heat shrinkable cable breakouts with 2, 3, 4 or 5 cores to split one cable harness into single cables or smaller cable harnesses and vice versa. Heat shrinkable cable feed throughs with line adhesive to guide cables from pipes into buildings. Thanks to the adhesive, the cable feed through protects the cable and wires from moisture and water. Applying a heat shrink tube is simple. Choose the correct inner diameter and shrink ratio. Consider the inner diameter before and after shrink. Also consider, the diameter of the cable inclusive of its cable sheath and the diameter of the uninsulated wires. Measure the length of the part that must be insulated. 
Keep in mind that your insulation by the heat shrink tube should already start around the cable sheath. Once you have determined the cable's diameter, the wire's diameter and the length, you can either take one pre-cut piece from one of our assortments or you can cut off the length you need from our other packing types. Slide the pre-cut piece of heat shrink tubing over the cable. Repair and connect the cable. Slide the pre-cut piece of heat shrink tubing to the spot where it should shrink. Heat the heat shrink tubing evenly on all sides until it shrinks tightly around the cable. If electricity is available, we recommend the use of a heat gun. If there is no power supply nearby, you can use a mobile gas burner. Avoid direct contact with the heat source. On request, WKK can cut heat shrink tubing pieces in your desired lengths and quantities. Next to pre-cut lengths, we can customize your heat shrink tubing with a print, for example with your company's logo or brand and, if desired, in combination with text. To get an overview of the different types of heat shrink tubing the WKK offer, you can view our flow chart, so you can easily determine which type of heat shrink tubing will be the most suitable one for your intended application. Do you want more information? Visit WKK.EU or contact us for more advice.